Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. Today I'm going to be doing a haul video from stuff that I picked up. Most of it's from last weekend. Robert and I went out Friday and hit just a few yard sales and estate sales. Um, but then I went out Saturday with my sister and I found some amazing stuff that I can't wait to show you. I'm also going to take some of this stuff, I think, on Thursday morning and do a live processing video. That way I can show you the, taking the pictures, doing the write-up, um, doing comps, all of that on you know some of these. I've got a lot of videos in mind that I need to get going on. So it's just one of the ones I'm, I'm hoping, barring any issues, my poor son today um, had his four wisdom teeth pulled. So I'm, I'm taking care of him and he had a tooth pulled for to start an implant. So five teeth. So he's one miserable child right now, although he's 21. He's so, still your baby. Yeah, he's still my baby. Um, I, I got to point out that when you say you're going to do this live on Thursday, that will probably be like two or three weeks before oh, this video is actually seen always, by anybody. And I am trying to get us caught up on our haul videos. I did another, worked on another one last night, and then I have four more, and then this one. So this one might jump the line because I'm excited to get this stuff worked on. So it might just jump the line because oh, I found some excellent stuff. But I think I have a few things right here that I think got forgotten from a previous haul. So I'm going to do them real quick um, and then I'll show you some of the treasures I found. We went to an estate sale and... I wasn't seeing much that I was interested in, but we walked by a uh, a bookcase that was full of CDs. And at first I scanned a few and nothing, nothing, nothing. And then I got into, and this was like the last day of, and it had been going on for a while. But I, then we found, and this isn't all of them, a bunch of rock CDs and heavy metal CDs and bands I've never heard of CDs. So I think they were for sale for a dollar and we got them for 50 cents or they were $2 and we got them for one. Something, I can't remember Something what like that, but a bunch. And I scanned every single one of these with the eBay app and all of them were at least $8 and up profit. So I don't do a whole lot of music, um, but I know to look for rock music and Metallica type heavy metal stuff. So, bunches of that. We need to get Jeffrey Clark on sometime. He does a lot of music on eBay and Amazon. Yeah. We need to, maybe we need to see if he'll come on sometime and uh, talk about talk selling about. music. And then I found this down in the garage. It is a blow mold type truck. It has some writing on it, but my lighting isn't very good, or that ain't writing and my eyes are bad. But very cute. I'm thinking at least $15, $20, if not more, once I get it cleaned up. And you can see I paid a dollar for it. And then we've also found a huge bag of silverware. It is Oneida USA some kind of rose pattern. I've done very well with silverware, putting it in like sets of four. So four forks, four spoons, four knives, and selling it that way. And then of course, some plush. This is Kelly, Do to Kelly Toy Rattle Bear. I've not had this. I'm still thinking maybe 12 to $15, maybe a little more, because it's cute and it's a rattle. This is Best Made Toys. Again, a brand that I like to pick up. I am going to be putting out another video, like in the next week, hopefully, on some of these other brands, more current brands, like Best Made Toys, Kelly Toys. Um, like the previous one I did for the Vintage Plush, where I'll give you some examples, especially high dollar examples of toys to be looking for that are in the current um, brands that we can pick up. This is 
TB Trading Company. Look, got the jelly bean feet, pastel colors. Still has its tag right here. Made in Hong Kong, so definitely vintage. I'm hoping 40 or more for it. And I think I paid a dollar. It is going to need some cleaning, some spot cleaning. Um, if I can't get this clean to a level that I want it to be, I'll just remove this and keep it um, and then give it a bath in the washing machine. Because I don't like to sell stuff that's not as clean as I possibly can get it. It's just something that's, I've always been like that. Now there's certain things I just can't clean and I'll say, leaving all cleaning to buyers. Pick this up. I've never had a Scentsy Buddy well. It does not have a scent pack in it. Thank goodness. I don't like them. But very cute. There's a story that goes with that one. <laughs> I wasn't going to tell the oh, story. Oh, you got to tell the story. We took RJ's Robert's son, my stepson, siblings with us, yard selling Saturday. And his brother Ethan picked this up before I could pick it up. So I stood there patiently waiting for him to decide if he gonna, was going to buy it. I thought you were going to throw down on him and take it for a minute. <laughs> well, when he set it down, I was like, are you sure you don't want that? And he said, yeah. And then I went, it was mine. I did pay $2 for it. I have not comped it. But since he is just one of those, at the minimum, probably at least $8 for most of them. So, but yeah, they had a really good time yard selling with us. Unlike RJ, who, when he was younger, of course, he went with us everywhere, and so he's burnt out. If we ask him if he wants to go, it's, so. Unless maybe we're going to go to Freddy's. And yeah, unless we're going some place that he wants to eat, then he'll go with us. Yeah, he's you know, old enough to stay home, so he's like, I'll just stay home. Yeah. You all go do your thing. CVS stuff ends. This is from the Island of Misfit Toys, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I bought, I almost want to think, maybe the complete set when we were at the bins in Nashville, but I have not found those bags yet. This is some telephone-looking thing. These tend to be decent. Some of them, like the, the polka dot elephant, sells for way a lot, um, but I'm not sure about him. But the fact that he has this tag is a good thing. And he's clean. This is play-by-play, -play, of course, Sylvester. And he does talk. Probably list it like 10 to 12, if not more. This is Old Navy. I do really well with Old Navy and Gap plush. Maybe that's kind of a limited uh, release of these. And so if it's a favorite toy... Basically, if it's no longer made or retired, eBay is where they're probably going to find it. I'm thinking probably 12 or so for it. But I could be mistaken. What is this it? This says it's a misfit water pistol. Oh, I see that now. Don't it look like a telephone? I'm not, I wasn't quite sure what it is. I like. haven't watched that in so long. Oh, so water pistol. This is 24K... 1996 Mighty Star. It's all of these. 24K Company Special Effects Mighty Star. Love that brand. It does have its little paper tag. I, my, I want to list this probably $20, $25, if not more. Um, because it is vintage. 1996. So, that's just my thoughts on it. If there's comps, I'll have them right here for you. I've actually found a couple of Starbucks mugs recently. This is the one you are here. It's Illinois, and I think I showed you guys recently, or it, it may not be out yet, um, a Canada one. It may be listed already. But this is Illinois. I paid a dollar for it. I think it's like $10 or so. This. Not sure. I paid $3 for it. When I put this the, the keyword in here, it says it's Grumbacher. G-R-U-M-B-A-C-H-E-R. It is soft pastels. 
it has been used but when I scanned or when I looked it up to do comps there were some that were like two hundred dollars in the solds but as you can see it has been used so I'm not sure I'm hoping at over 50 if not more for it but just just something always look stuff up even when it's in a condition like this because you never know a lot of the pieces are still unused and whole but there are quite a few that are broken you can tell I'll buy anything this is a vintage saddle potty that's what it says it's got nice little painted on design very cute it's a saddle but it's a potty I paid a dollar for it Look how cute surely I haven't even comped this Surely 20 bucks or so for that. And these are always good. Even if they're not in the box. These are those dancing hamsters. This one is Jimmy. It does work. I tested it still um, in the box. It works, um, I want to say like $20, $25. But it's funny how popular these dancing hamsters are. All right, this was an amazing estate sale. My sister and I went. When I was looking in the pictures, um, I saw vintage little people. Specifically, one set that I really wanted I'd never had before. But it's an hour away from here. So I went and picked up my sisters, and we only went on Saturday, which is the half price day. Of course, the set wasn't there that I wanted, but I did pick up another one that I'll show you here in a second. But there were... The person was, I think, a retired teacher because there was lots of teach teacher-related stuff there. But there was so much vintage toys. Just let me show you. Robert looks that up. That's my name is Robert. No. You, you but look, did you say? Did you? Were you? Were you gonna keep that part in there, Mister Smarty Pants? <laughs> you. You were looking like you were trying to remember my name. I know your name. I was just trying to say what was I gonna say as far as this item the art pastel set Robert found is sold for about a hundred and six dollars used but like I said I have quite a few broken pieces in that one Robert That's Robert that is your name Bert a lot of times is what I call him and then there's other names he can get called too yeah see the abuse I get all right, not a toy, but I had to pick it up. It was half price, so I paid 50 cents for this. These are little wooden Easter ornaments. People like to buy these and put them on the um, Christmas tree slash Easter tree that kind of gets used into different seasons. Definitely good. It's dated 1995. Now, I don't know about this one. Let me show you. These are called fruit seals. Made in the USA, but they're stickers, and I'm hoping, I think they're stickers. I'll just show you guys what it looks like. Are they seeing it clearly? Y'all, I'm not allowed to look at the camera anymore because I don't stare at the camera when it's opened. Yeah, that looks good. All right, they're called fruit seals. There's 36 seals, six different designs. I don't know if they're stickers or what. But it's a whole basket of them. All kinds of different. These were nursery rhyme seals. Presto stick self-adhesive. And I paid $2.50 for the whole basket. So I'm hoping these are a treasure. I didn't even comp them. This was a dot. Well, it was $2, so I paid a dollar. But look, I'm sure I've seen this on Bolo Buddy's show. Um, one of her, bo this is my Bolo or Bolo, but it's one of the blow mold lights. You can tell it's older. But I'm hoping, I don't know, $25 or more for it. This was a vintage Peter Rabbit tea set. I paid $2 for it. Um, I think it's missing something, but you can just tell that's Beatrix Potter, Peter Rabbit, 
just adorable. Had to have it. Can't leave this stuff behind. This was a dollar for this little bag, so I paid 50 cents. I got it because, look, it had this vintage Raggedy Ann patch in it. Um, and then just some older stuff. But I got it mostly for the Raggedy Ann in there. There were lots of trains and train stuff. So I think I picked up at least two. This is um, just a train vintage cookie cutter. I paid 50 cents for it. It says sandwich cake and cookie cutter locomotive. And it has a little recipe right there on the front of the box. I think I paid, I want to say I spent $51. So I was 102 half. I always pick up these little quilting or looms any of that type of stuff that's vintage, they seem to still be popular. People remember them doing them as a child or with their grandmother. So I usually will pick these up. This is just quilling tool set. I'm not crafty. Here's some more. This is, it is four model train cookie cutters. I paid a quarter for it. Look at this. This is wooden. It says Originals by Ermi Somebody Plastics. Nurse Hurley Plastics. But I just thought it was adorable. I paid a dollar. I'm hoping at least, what, 15 or 20 for that. Alright, this bag, I paid $2.50 for it. But it's got some very, very old like dollhouse figures in it. Like here's, and th this one's rubbery. This one's not as, but you can just tell they are old. And it's a whole bag of them, including, um, let me pull this one out. This one was the most intriguing to me. But I, you can just tell how old they are. But it was a whole bag. There are babies and small children down in this bag also. But I couldn't resist. When we went, where did we stop the last bins that we stopped at? That was that we paid 45 cents a pound. Louisville. Louisville. I picked up a bunch of these. These are Fisher Price Tough Stuff vegetables. There were shopping carts and all kinds of stuff like that that went with this series. They're from, I want to say the 70s, um, but I found another bag of them. So what I'm going to do is, and I paid $1.50, I'm going to end that listing and make a larger lot and then just bump my price up. They had not a whole lot of flush. Um, this is Dakin, dated 1990. I paid a quarter for it. Just a cute puppy dog. Sometimes these are my bread and butter, and sometimes these can be $40 and $50. Just depends. Had to get this. I paid 50 cents for it. It too is Dakin. But look, it's a little Dracula vampire bear. I've never had that before. I'm hoping $15, $20 for it. This was a Gund 1988. I'm, it's got some wear around its mouth. I'm thinking it's a bear hand puppet. Hopefully like $15 or so for it. These are pocket dolls. I think there's one more somewhere. Um, this one's got quite a bit of wear. They are from 1962. They were made by Joan Walsh, England, England, England. I've had these before, probably not big dollar. I paid 25 cents for them. I'm pretty sure there's one more and I'll probably make a lot for them and then just go from there. I'm hoping with the three of them, maybe I can get like 20, $25 for them. There were some of these um, small 
these feel like they have the nutshells in them. This one is 1977 Russ, just a little hippo. I'll probably list this anywhere between $12 and $20, just depends on comps. This one says Pooh on the bib. It is Walt Disney, has a very vintage tag, made in Korea. I'm not quite sure. I'm hoping $12 to $15 for it. These. Yes. I have forgotten. These are those little plastic uh, charms. Bell. I think that's the word. Bell charms. Very popular. I have found these once or twice before. As many as I have here, I'll probably leave all of this together. And I want to say it's like $40 or $50 for them. I could be off, but I'm thinking... At least, I don't know, at least 40 maybe. This was made in England. I paid 50 cents for it. It's just a vintage tin. I'm totally out of my, my normal stuff. I'm hoping at least $10 for it. I don't know if this is going to go into dimensional weight. I'll have to get Robert to do some creative packaging maybe. You're probably going to hit the 22 inches. Probably. Probably. We'll see, though. This is by, it says, Quest Star, a child guidance toy. Reminds me of, like, Fisher Price and Play School's vintage toys. It does, does have the alphabets that were magnetic. Had these cards. Still, this looks like it's complete because there, you couldn't put many more cards in there. And just very, very unique. I'm going to make a mess. I'm just going to hand this to you. Please. But how adorable is that? Somebody who has a vintage toy room, which I see them on Facebook. People who have complete rooms that are just like vintage little people or Fisher Price is going to want this. I skipped this several times. It was marked $10, so I got it for 5 until I started digging. This has a whole bunch of doll clothes, but when I looked more closely, it is Determined Productions. I believe these are clothes that go to a Snoopy doll. Almost all of them, and probably the girl Snoopy. Belle, I think her name was. They're, yeah, they're all marked determined. And I, like, I think I've seen Snoopy in this outfit before on eBay. Oh, look, here's a little Snoopy dress. So it probably went to Belle. Um, but this whole container is just that. Oh, look, I didn't even look close enough. Here's pictures of all the outfits that Snoopy. So hopefully I can put complete sets together with this and I'll sell them individually. I'm thinking maybe 10 to $15 an outfit. But this whole tote is full of them. Even Santa, just so you know. Definitely if you see a pile of stuff like this, go look at the tags. Because if it says Determined Productions, it's probably Snoopy. My sister and I were at this estate sale for a long time because you could go back and look at the same spot again and find something that you missed. There was so much, and we were one of the first ones through the door. Thank goodness, because I think a lot of toy people came within minutes behind me, and I was grabbing the things I wanted. I'm seeing, hang on, the Snoopy things, uh -huh. new or $25, $30, $35. For each individual outfit. So I'm thinking 20 or $25 per outfit. And they look in mint condition. Mint. So that's good. Wait, there's a... Well, they took a best offer on it. But... Uh-oh. I wonder what's all in that lot. I don't know. 
somebody has a Snoopy collection wardrobe and Snoopy doll. Oh, they've got the Snoopy and several of the outfits, which I think I have some of them. And they had it listed for $1.99. I might have to look. I'm always picking up Snoopy. I might actually have one listed. I don't know. But I still think I would make better selling those as individual. Because somebody who has one of the outfits, you know, might not want to buy the whole set and have duplicates. So there you go. Maybe $20, $25. And it looks like there's at least maybe a dozen outfits in that little box. This is another bolo. This is by Tommy and it's called Fashion Plates. What looks like I have, I think I have the original set and then I have the more Fashion play sets because this is what the original, this is the case and then you had all of these little pieces that you could choose the head, the torso, and the bottom and then it was like a tracer thing. You could take a crayon and trace over it with paper and make designs. I want to say this was from like the 70s. I've found this several times. If this is complete, the both sets, I'm thinking at least 50 or $60, if not more for it. It does need cleaned, but it's mostly just um, graphite from pencils that are smeared all over it. I want to say she charged me like $2 for this because it didn't have a price tag on it. But definitely keep your eyes open for these um, fashion plate sets. Here's that other doll, the pocket dolls. This one might not be pocket just because it's tall. It does say 1965, made in Japan. Look how adorable. I've only found these like one time before and mine was in really rough condition so I don't have a good gauge on what the price is going to be but I may keep all three of them together. Now a lot of these toys were like 50 cents so I got them for a quarter. This is Knickerbocker of course, Smokey the Bear. He is missing his hat. That's alright. This is vintage. I'm not sure if I have a date on this one. But in overall, really good condition. A lot of times when I get these, they're, um, there's a lot of wear on the, the jeans. I'm hoping like $12 to $15 for it. I pick these up when I see them just because I like vintage toys. They are going to be, it's going to take a while to sell. But I'm okay when I'm paying a quarter for it. It says it's 1979 Dandy Imports. But it's... It tells a little story, one of the flip pages. So, cute. I did find this. I paid a dollar for it, but it's vintage Fisher Price Little People. It's the lion from one of the, the circus things. Usually, though, the tail is missing or broken off, so I went ahead and picked it up. I'm probably going to add him to my collection up there for a while. I did find this vintage Raggedy Ann and Andy plastic cup. I paid a dollar for it. I'm not seeing a date on it, but the paint on it was in just excellent condition. So I grabbed it. This was a quarter, so why not, right? But it's one of those like paper mache maybe um, Christmas ornaments. Just thought it was cute. Has Santa on a little train. Look. These are Fisher Price lap sitter dolls. They were from like the, I want to say 70s. I'm, I'm not seeing a date on this. I know this one I think is Little Anne. I've forgotten her name. Um, they're called lap sitters because they've got this flat bottom, so they would sit like this. I paid 50 cents for these. And this one, actually, I very seldom get these dolls where they still have their clothes on them. I do pick them up when I see them. It does have some discoloration, but the fact that it has the dresses, I'm hoping like $15 to $20.00. 
they'll easily clean up as far as the faces. I'll just take a magic eraser and some stuff to it. I will not be washing these though, um, even though the, the, the white areas around the feet have a lot of wear and discoloration. I'm trying to see if there's a date on this one. No, I don't even see a tag on this one. But I might try to figure out how I can set them up on my wall for a little while because they're Fisher Price. Especially the little girl with the dress. Another, another Knickerbocker dog plush train conductor. That's all keywords I'm going to use. These are Animal of Distinction. I want to say probably $12, $15 for it. This intrigued me. I paid a quarter for it. It might be handmade. But the face is terry cloth. And I just thought, you know, it does need a little bit of sewing and to get it back to what it should look like. But even if I list it for $9.95, you know, I paid a quarter. I had to pick these up. I paid a dollar each. Tennessee Orange. This is Smokey, their mascot. It definitely looks vintage. Oh, it's got some tailor-made um, little, whatever these things are called on here. I guess putter numbers. I don't know, golf. But I'm hoping at least maybe $15 or $20 each for them. This I paid $0.50 cents for. It is Dakin. It's got a little removable outfit. Ooh, look at the difference. White, not white. Um, it's dated 1985. It looks like it should have had a pacifier attached, probably. I'm still thinking at least 20 for it once I get it cleaned up. And then let me show you this. I hope I did good. All right, I paid... I'm going to say $5. No, $3. But it's a basket of these, like, blow mold turkeys. Quite a few of them. I have no clue, but they are marked. Look, I have my glasses. Now I can read. My old lady glasses. Oh, made in China. Something OTC. I don't know. I'm hoping I'll do the whole, well, I may set them up, separate them in small lots of like four or six. Maybe list them for like $19.95 for the set. I just thought, why not for three bucks? Oh, and look, 50 cents. A little Snoopy vinyl purse. Might even go with one of those outfits over there. Don't know. Very cute. A couple of more littles. This is another hippo. I'll probably put the two hippos together. Again, this was 1977 Russ. Does have the nutshells. I almost always, unless I'm not thinking, uh, put the word nutshell in my title so that if somebody has an allergy, allergy that they'll avoid buying something like this. Here is Woodstock. I paid 50 cents for him. He is also Dakin. 1965. He's going to need a little hand washing, but not overly bad. And then Piglet. I paid a dollar for it. It, too, is vintage. It says made in Korea. Has a Walt Disney World tag. I pick up all things poo. This couldn't resist. It says Jack and the Beanstalk. Finger tails. And it has the story here. So definitely this lady was like a preschool teacher, I would think. RJ did a, uh, he was in civics class at the homeschool co-op, and they had a trial, 
Jack was on trial for murder and larceny and theft, I think. Are or we really burglary. Gonna talk about this? Oh, absolutely. Why not? It was funny. They had to have a trial and determine whether or not Jack was guilty of uh, any of those crimes for uh, his uh, assault on the uh, giant's castle and uh, subsequent demise at the uh, oh, one more end thing. of Jack's. One more. And... Uh huh. Do you really think we should keep that in there? Okay. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> and this is why we do co-op. All right. This was this was probably my biggest purchase there. It was twenty five dollars, so I paid twelve fifty. The exterior stickers are very nice. Usually, it has this like what kind of some kind of wooden board. I forget what it's called. Hardboard. Ba yeah, hardboard bottom, and a lot of times the corners are damaged and this one well right here see you can see the damage to that corner but I didn't buy it for the building I may take the building to my booth because it was packed you know when the lights go out twice that means you've talked more I know, than anybody, minutes, can, anybody but, can tolerate uh-huh it has the two trays that went inside it doesn't have the magnets I may have some of the magnets here somewhere. Um, if I do, I'll try to fill in some of these. I may not be able to fill all of them in. And I'll sell these separate. Maybe even not the two of them together. Um, but look. Here's some of the people. This one, you never find him with the handle on the pan. And in excellent. He's wood bodied. This one's wood bodied. I've got one of the babies with the bib, which is sometimes chewed. And here's a few more. One of the clowns that went to the circus set. This little girl should have pigtail ends, but she doesn't. And that happened a lot. Little girl, the, well, kids would chew the nubs off of the that, and then I have a wooden mom. There is some of the furniture that went with the school set. I will probably put all of these together in one set. These are the desks and chairs. I'll probably put it with the merry-go-round. Um, I will probably sell this separate. This went to one of the houses. Didn't go to the school. Um, it does have. The stickers still, these are paper stickers, and a lot of times they either got wet and damaged or they were colored on, um, but this one seems to be very good. It's dirty, so I'm going to have to be very careful cleaning it. And then, I don't think this is Little People. I'll have to figure this out. Although, it says Mattel, 1973, but I've never seen that before. But look, they fit in it. I might have a little treasure here. I may have to ask in my Fisher Price group if I can't figure it out quickly. But, so, I still went to one more yard sale that was amazing, but this video has gotten very long. I actually might save them and use them to do a haul live on Thursday. And I'll show you processing everything, taking the pictures, doing the comps, all of that with those items because it was some more I spent $72 there I had $70 to my name and my sister let me borrow two bucks so it, it was all my money but there was some amazing things there all right I'm gonna let you guys go I was about to say uh see you tonight but no they won't see us tonight on the live well they will see us tonight but not the right. tonight that this video is out unless right. we you know, just do it again that night, too. No, 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 no. All right. Bye.